the South Bronx, the world that gave birth to hip hop. There's a militarized police department that is ready to attack the people. Some people have taken the streets, they've shut down the highway. There's an understanding that when the planet wins, the people win too. Don't stop. Amor, justicia, hip hop, revolutionary. Peace out, Rod Stars reporting for And You Don't Stop. I'm in my old neighborhood right now. You know what I'm saying? We're in uh, Lincolnwood. This used to be the arcade we used to come cut school at. And now it's Little Kiapao, a Filipino restaurant. We're here because um, our brother Pele invited us to come through um, and learn and show solidarity with the Lumad community. The Lumads is, is a term used to denote and name uh, the indigenous communities of the southern Philippine area known as Mindanao. Uh, a little bit about the Lakbay Lumad to say. Lakbay means journey in Tagalog. And we've been on this journey together to really raise awareness and uh, the issues, the struggles, and uh, the victories of the indigenous people's communities and schools in Mindanao. They're on a tour. Uh, here, a six-week tour going on in the U.S. in which they're spreading the word of their struggle and building with solidarity groups. And this is, uh, we call the tour as uh, Lakbay Lumad USA. Uh, it means the continuing journey of uh, indigenous peoples coming from Mindanao going to the USA. This is because we have experience uh, in uh, Mindanao for a long time and uh, this uh, militarization and the uh, uh, plunder of our ancestral lands. Here we have the, we are having the Lakbay Lumad USA. It's a six weeks tour here in the United States, basically to bring out the issues of the indigenous peoples of the Philippines, especially the Lumad or the indigenous peoples of Mindanao. Because over the past years, three years, there has been an intensified attack against our communities, our schools, and our leaders, indigenous leaders in the southern Philippines with the deployment of 60% of the combat military forces of the armed forces of the Philippines there, there has just been a massive um, human rights violation. Uh, the Lumad community, uh, the indigenous community, like many other historic uh, communities all over the country and all over the world, uh, are fighting for their ancestral lands. Their ancestral land has been plundered uh, by multinational corporations that are coming in and mining and stealing the resources. And of course, uh, as the Lumad people resist, what follows is an intense military repression. More than a year now, we are in the evacuation center because of the massive extrajudicial killings. Uh, the, uh, the armed forces of the Philippines in camp, in our schools, indigenous people's schools, in our communities, in our houses. They, ha they harassed our people. They uh, kill our uh, leaders. They uh, filed uh, trump up charges against our leaders and uh, against us. This is being done against the indigenous communities um, um, because of the, the economic interest within our ancestral territories. For the longest um, time, land has been taken away from, from the indigenous peoples by multinational corporations, transnational corporations of mining, plantations, energy projects, different so-called development projects being supported by the government of the Philippines, but benefiting foreign and few elites of the Philippines. Uh, as I hear some of these comrades speak, or as I hear the stories, I can't help but think of the Mapuche communities that we saw while we were reporting uh, from Chile, or the Diné communities fighting, you know, the Peabody Energy Company. Uh, in, uh, in Arizona. So the indigenous peoples have been resisting um, ever since um, colonization period. <laughs> before, even before the first colonizers, the Spaniards came to colonize the Philippine Islands. The indigenous peoples have already been defending our lands, our, our communities, our resources. So the, we have a historical struggle as indigenous peoples. Because of our struggles, we were able to maintain over the colonization period our, our unique economic cultural and political systems. So now, um, unfortunately, this has been continuing. In the 1970s, um, when the neoliberal policies are being implemented uh, um, in the Philippines, until now it's being implemented, there have been big projects that is supposed to be set up in the indigenous people's territories. One, one well-known project is the World Bank-funded Chico Dam. 
it is um, to submerge um, a lot of indigenous communities in the northern Philippines in the Cordillera regions. We face now the uh, massive uh, uh, famine, hunger, uh, because of the drought. The government declared uh, a calamity fund that uh, they have a calamity fund, but this calamity fund were not uh, released for the people. We want the American people to support our, our, our struggles, to support our calls for food, land and justice. Basically, food is just an immediate um, assistance to those, to the indigenous peoples, farmers who are experiencing um, drought for more than seven months now. They don't have any food to eat. And instead of giving food, um, the government responds with further atrocities or attack or um, killings against the farmers and protesters. We are also asking for food because um, more than 4,000 indigenous peoples and farmers are in the, in the evacuation center because of the military and continued military operations within the communities and our ancestral lands. So that's why we are here in the U.S. to, to tell the people uh, of the United States uh, for, uh, for the solidarity to our struggle, to support our struggle, to support our resistance, to defend our, our life, to defend our life and land. The indigenous peoples have also experienced in the Philippines um, absence or lack of government support, especially of basic social services. So in Mindanao, we have set up a lot of schools, elementary and high schools. There are now more than 100 community schools which caters to indigenous peoples who have been longing for education and who have been deprived by the Philippine government with this right to education. Now that the schools have been set up by the indigenous communities with the help of non-government non organizations, church institutions, and different support groups for indigenous peoples, the government is now criminalizing the schools. They are saying that the schools are not real, even if they have uh, permitted the operation of the schools. So there's nothing really left for indigenous peoples but to continue the fight, to resist, and to continue the schools because the schools are teaching the children how really to defend our lands. So it teaches how we should collectively um, unite as indigenous peoples and how we should connect and unite with the entire Filipino people who are experiencing oppression as well from the Philippine government. Our call is to, first to arrest and persecute all uh, paramilitary groups and armed forces of the Philippines who killed our leaders. Uh, we ask for justice and then second uh, to uh, uh, dismantle and disarm all, all paramilitary groups who uh, are the perpetrators of the killings and harassments of our people. And third, we call for the pull out of the armed forces of the Philippines from our ancestral land. And fourth, all uh, large-scale foreign mining companies have applied and have permit to, to, to grab our land, to get our land. Uh, they should uh, revoke and uh, pulled out also in our ancestral land. So there have been a lot of forms of um, resistance coming from indigenous communities. We have set up barricades. We literally placed our bodies into the roads just to prevent corporations to come to get in our, our, our lands. We have joined and led a lot of protests and barricades as well um, to demand, to push, push the government to respond to our demands. And there have been some communities of indigenous peoples who have really um, continued the historical struggle, armed resistance. And we are, um, because for us, it is really just to defend our lands, our communities, our life, um, especially when there are threats coming into our lands. So traditional tribal wars or pangayaw have been held over the past years, especially in Mindanao. And we think that these are just. The real thing is we are struggling people. We are the people of resistance to defend our uh, ancestral land, 
to defend our people, our community, our schools.